I made an automatic item sorter using the new shelf block. Hello there, Ray here, and it turned out to be harder than you think. So I did this by first having a shelf that we're going to try to push items into from the side with a hopper. So let's say we have some random blocks that are inside the shelf, but one of them we're going to use as the item that we're going to filter. So we're going to put at least two of them in the first slot. And now if the same type of item goes into this hopper here, it's going to push it into there. So the item is no longer in the hopper and it actually got stacked with the rest of them here. We just can't see more than a single item, but they can throw up to an entire stack there. But we have a problem with this order. That is if we put a different item that's not in the shelf, the item is just going to get stuck in the hopper and eventually it's going to clog up this entire hopper so we can't get anything sorted. So we have to pull out this item. We're going to do this just by putting in a hopper underneath that will be storing them in this chest back here. But now if we throw an item into this hopper here, what's going to happen is that this hopper first tries to pull an item, and then after it has a cooldown, it'll then attempt to push it into this shelf here. But the problem is the hopper underneath does not have a cooldown, so as soon as the item gets pulled into this hopper, this hopper underneath will immediately try to pull it out and put it into the storage. And you can see that's what happened. Our redstone desk ended up in this chest rather than getting pushed into the shelf, which means we have to keep this hopper down here locked for a short period of time, that way we give the redstone dust time to get pushed into here and only if it cannot get pushed in like a different item then after some delay we're going to release the power here and let it get pushed into our extra storage but of course we don't want to manually do this so we can actually do this with some redstone we just have to read that there's an item inside of this hopper here which we can do with a comparator and then when it is powered it's going to put power into this block here which is then going to power this torch and turn it off. But the majority of the time it's going to be on and it's going to have its power pushed back into this block, which is touching this hopper, meaning that this hopper is actually locked. It cannot prematurely pull items out of the hopper that is above it until it has a little bit of time to push it over there. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We have no redstone dust in there. If we throw redstone dust in here, does it have enough delay? No, it looks like the dust got stuck down here. So we did not leave this item up here long enough, meaning that we need to let this power longer. So we're going to add some delay to this and try again. So now we try a dust in there and we check down here, nothing there, nothing there. So it must be in this slot here. So it seems to work in sorting the redstone. So let's make sure it also sorts away the random chest. So we throw a chest in there. It's not there. It's not there. And it is there. So it is working perfectly at the moment. But now we have a new problem, that is if we put a chest up here and if we throw a bunch of different redstone dust into it, you think all the redstone dust would get pushed into here, but the problem is it actually ends up over here sometimes. And this is because our little system here takes time in order to sort every single item. And this time is actually longer than what it takes to pull new items out. Notice when we put items into here, look how fast it pulls these items out. That is way faster than when our little system can sort them. So the way we fix this is we have to slow down how fast items come into this chest here. Now it's that time to leave a like on the video. We can throttle the speed by placing in a dropper that will just drop in an item every time the system is ready. So this is where the items will be stored in here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to read and see if there's anything inside of this dropper with a comparator. And then that comparator is going to push a signal into this block here, which is then going to power a redstone dust, which is just behind it. Then it's going to push into another block and then it's going to move it back towards the dropper here. We're going to put a bunch of delay in so it has plenty of time to react. But we want this repeater to not only power this dropper, but we also want the same power to turn off the comparator, which we can do by placing a redstone dust here. And then this will make strong enough signal that it'll turn it back off again. But it's not currently pointing into this block here. We could just place another dust there and that will make it point into the block. This will not only power the dropper and keep dropping out items, with a short delay between each item, but it's also going to overpower this comparator, making this signal stronger than the one behind it, which turns it off for a split moment. And this creates a clock, which will drop out the items at a slow enough pace. So if we give this a try by placing in some redstone dust, as well as some other blocks. Now that's empty, there should be no redstone dust down here, and all the redstone dust will end up in this slot here. But if we run the system for a while, all of a sudden the redstone dust ends up in this chest and it's not supposed to be here because it's supposed to be in here. The problem is this slot can only hold up to 64 before it completely fills up and then everything else gets pushed down into this chest here and that's why we have some dust here. We have to actually pull the items out of the slot here for every time we get a new item in it. Now we can do this by placing in a hopper underneath, but the problem is the hopper is going to end up pulling up all the items in the entire shelf block. 
but to fix this we can keep this hopper powered most of the time and that way it won't be pulling items from here unless we want it to. And the items that are in these two slots here, these would be your renamed items. So you'd want to change them a little bit so that other items don't end up stacking with them. Similar to any other type of item filter. And they would always go in the last two slots because the first slot always gets pulled first by the hopper underneath. And only when that one's empty does it pull the next one then the next one. And we cannot actually detect how many items are in each of these slots because reading the signal with the comparator on the back of the shelf will only tell you if there's at least one item in each of these different types of slots, producing different amounts of redstone signals. But now we need to make a new redstone circuit that can detect when to pull out redstone dust. It should only pull out redstone dust when a redstone dust is added to the slot, but it should not pull out an item from the slot if the item goes into this chest in the back. We're getting close to half a million subscribers, so hit that sub button. So every time one item goes through the system and gets sorted, this torch over here is going to turn on and off. But that's not good enough to detect if the item actually got sorted into the shelf or into the chest back here. So we need a second thing to detect and then we're going to be detecting items that are going towards the chest. So we're going to do this using a comparator. So now if the comparator turns on that means we know the item for sure went into the chest and did not go into the shelf. But that's not very helpful because we want to know the opposite. We want to know if it goes into the shelf and not into the chest. This is where we can use a bit of logic. We know that this turns on every time and we know this only turns on if there's an item going towards towards the chest. So if you take both these signals outwards and then we make the signal that happens every time, which is this side over here, go into a comparator that is going into this block here, which is going to go into a torch that is going to normally keep this hopper powered all the time. So if we go ahead and just remove this for now, so if we put some items here, we'll notice that this powers every single time an item goes through. But we only want this to get powered when an item goes into the first slot. Let's go ahead and fill in these slots once again. And we can actually do this by putting in a little bit of logic here. As the power is going through every single time, but if we come in here and we have some redstone signals, which stop this power from going through whenever an item ends up going towards a chest. And we'll want to put this comparator into subtraction mode because we want to notice a signal that's behind it and subtract it from any signal that comes from the side. Meaning if we have an item that is going into the chest back there, it's going to power this, stopping the signal from going through. And we can actually watch this. So if we just put in a bunch of items, notice the pulse tries to go through this direction over here, but instead is getting overpowered from the signal over here and is actually having no change on this output. But if we compare this to if there is redstone, the redstone signal is going to come around here and there's nothing to stop the signal coming from the side. Meaning every time a redstone dust goes into the slot, we're also pulling a redstone dust out of the system. That way we always have enough to pick up new items. And then the items from this hopper, we can just have put into another chest down below. And this is where it actually ends up storing the item that we have being sorted. So after all of this work, we finally have an item sorter that can sort items using the new shelf block. But it's more complicated than using hopper filters, so stick with those. Now share this with your favorite Minecrafter, otherwise consider supporting me on Patreon, where you get tons of cool perks like getting your name at the end of all my videos. And I'll see you in the next one, Bye bye